When we dark rangers talk to people about why they feel the need to pump so much light into the nocturnal world, one of their biggest concerns has to do with safety. And I guess it's because it just sort of seems like common sense would dictate the more light you have, the safer you are. The problem is this, like many other common sense assertions, really doesn't hold up when it's been scientifically tested. And these studies have been done in a variety of places, and outside the city of London, actually throughout the whole of Great Britain, um, in Australia, here in the United States, and what they generally agree upon is that light certainly doesn't deter crime doesn't make the criminals run away. They're, they're not scared of the light. In fact, if you were to ask a cop, one of the things they might tell you is that about 75 to 80 percent of crime occurs during the daytime. So when you put it in those terms, if you add light to your cities and towns and your private property, all you're going to do is really just increase the operational hours of the bad guys. So keeping your house dark, believe it or not, is a better way to protect your home. Now, the other issue that comes up is people's personal safety when they're walking the streets at night. And these studies show a variety of interesting things. Um, one of the things is that if you have a lot of bright shop windows, that tends to attract shoppers. And shoppers tend to carry money with them while they're shopping. And burglars know this. It's all about how you design your lighting. If you have very powerful lights, they're going to almost always create hard shadows. They're going to create hard shadows and they're going to create glare. You're probably familiar with glare from driving highways and seeing headlights of oncoming cars, but the same thing can be done with a street light unless the bulb is recessed far enough up inside the light fixture that you don't actually see the bulb. But even if it's a powerful light and it's fully shielded, it's going to create hard shadows. And what the bad guys know is the hard shadows is where you want to hide to set up an attack. And in the safety of those hard shadows, because the human eye can't penetrate that darkness, well, you as the victim might be able to get fairly close to the bad guy before you even see he's hiding there. So the better kind of lighting to keep your neighborhoods and city streets safe is the kind that is a little bit dimmer. If you use an amber light as opposed to a white light, then you can solve that problem of glare. You also take away the hiding spots of hard shadows. So it's really not about outlighting the burglars, turning the night into day, but it's about smart lighting that outsmarts the burglars. That's what we need in our towns and communities.